All right, this Mandela effect is getting fucking weird. So I'm here to report to y'all. I'm once so gruff. So here's my current observation. Shit is getting fucking weird, man. Like, for real. Listen, <laughs> I mean fucking weird, man. Shit is fucking weird. Like on some U.S. intel, like CIA, NSA, DARPA, IARPA shit. I'm just saying, man. Whatever the U.S. government's doing with fucking CERN, man, and fucking Geneva, Switzerland shit is getting fucking weird. Now, if you want proof, I have proof. So here's what's weird. So check this out. So what you see right now, what you hear right now, what you observe right now are people who are coming out of academia, top reputable scientists, Professors, okay, people who are PhDs, and they're saying, man, the timeline's being fucked with, okay, we need to get a handle on what's going on, okay, let's get a handle on what's going on, that's why I'm talking to y'all right now, that's why I'm talking, kind of scary, it's fucking scary, <laughs> because, man, I can, I can provide instances where people who, they have certain names, they actually have different names on different fucking timelines. And and I'm not the only person who has fucking observed this shit. This is what's so fucking weird. Is that there's this dude. His name is Lou. I was introduced to him. But his name was fucking Lou. Now this all started with this dude. Who is um working with the joint security forces uh, of, you know, the joint security operations between China and the United States. So what I'm talking about is this. A lot of people, they think that, like, America's at odds with China. Well, that's true. But you have to also understand that in some respects, in some fucking respects, the United States, man, for, like, doomsday scenarios, has to have, like, people who they're whatever skilled and expert in going to, like, foreign countries to say the same thing, tinderbox, like... The Kashmiri, whatever, Kashmir, whatever, the speed of line between, like, India and, like, Pakistan, right? They have to, like, say, hey, listen, we heard that you threatened to do this, but here's the thing. And I'm going to pray for you, like, 50 zillion times a day. Like, like, you got to understand something, okay? I'm once a grub. C4CW, if you're a fan... I appreciate you as well as 495 as a whole does. And if you're not a fucking fan, then I'm sorry, man. I can't make you a fan. But listen, here's the deal. The world is weird. And truth is stranger than any conceivable work of human fiction. So knowing that, we're talking about like a nuclear war, right? So when it comes to nuclear fucking uh, war... We let people say crazy shit. That is America does. And people will say shit like, if you do some shit, we're going to do some shit. And America looks at that person and is like, okay, you just threaten thermonuclear war. Well, I'm not in the U.S. military on this timeline. But imagine someone who is. So imagine someone's on. In the U.S. military on this timeline. And here's something from some fucking official. From some fucking country. And that person's like, yeah, yeah. We're going to start fucking sending missiles to some other country if you fuck with us. Well, America doesn't fucking play. We don't fucking play. We don't wait. We don't fucking wait. We don't fucking play. If you talk about using thermonuclear atomic bombs, missiles, weapons, anything of a nuclear fucking strategic tactical fucking whatever, we don't fucking play, okay? America doesn't fucking play. Now, I'm just a rap artist. I don't know too much shit, but what I'm saying is this. What I can tell you is this, if you get up on TV and you say some stupid brazen fucking shit and you're like, yeah, if you attack our country, you can expect these missiles to fucking fly your way and they're going to be armed with nuclear fucking weapons. Hey, I can tell you straight up, straight up, America will let someone like that slide. You can do that for one fucking one, one one zillionth of a fucking nanosecond. 
And then after you make that statement, America's going to plot against you to kill you, to fucking murder you. I'm just being honest. Like, if you threaten America with nuclear atomic fucking annihilation, okay, you have people in our U.S. military and U.S. intelligence services. If you say you're going to kill our babies in the West or anywhere our international partners, if you fucking say you're going to use some type of thermonuclear or even just nuclear atomic weapons and you brag about that or just you even say that shit, like, yeah, we're going to use nuclear... Yeah, you threaten our sovereignty. You're gonna fucking yeah. Then we're gonna and we'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll retaliate. If you say some shit like that to us, dude. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what happens. Whether it's in fucking your stupid goddamn fucking piece of shit media or not, the very moment that you make a statement, AI fucking identifies you. And it goes to many different war chiefs and war planners. You say you're going to use nuclear weapons against us. We don't give a fuck who the fuck you are. We don't. We don't fucking care what type of oil reserves you have. We don't give a fuck how much money you have. We don't give a fuck what you have. We don't give a fuck who you are. We don't give a fuck whose child you are. We don't give a fuck who the fuck you are. If you say you're going to use nuclear weapons at some point in any kind of exchange hypothetically with any type of fucking hypothetical shit, if you say that shit, AI locks onto you and you're going to fucking die. Now, here's a message to all the leaders of the so-called fucking free world. If you make a claim that you're going to use any type of nuclear fucking weapons, one warhead, any kind of nuclear exchange, anything over any kind of, it doesn't matter if you're China, India, fucking North Korea, any fucking buddy, okay? It doesn't matter if you're in the U.S., if you're outside the U.S., if you're Canadian, if you're French, it doesn't fucking matter. If you say some shit like, yeah, yeah, you fuck with us and we'll launch nukes, America locks on to you with AI, okay? And you're fucking dead. You're dead. You're a fucking dead soul. You're fucking done. You're fucking dead. Now, you'll probably die of cancer or a car accident or some kind of mishap, some weird shit, some fucking, you know, shit that seems like natural causes, but you are gonna die fucking claiming that you're gonna do some shit nuclear. When you threaten to use nuclear weapons against anybody on this fucking planet, dude. When you are a piece of shit, fucking son of a bitch. It doesn't matter who the fuck you are. If you claim that your finger is one fucking click away from the button. And that you're going to do something nuclear related. Okay. And you get up on fucking TV and you advertise and you talk a gang of fucking shit and you swear to your fucking religion, your faith, your God, whatever. If you mention that you're going to do anything nuclear or we even think you're going to do something fucking nuclear, you're not going to live very long. No, man. You're not going to do anything fucking nuclear. The mere thought of yours that you're going to do something nuclear is your, is your fucking death, is your demise, is you're going to fucking perish, you're going to get fucking wiped. And man, don't you ever threaten my motherfucking country, dude, with any type of nuclear annihilation. You may think it's fun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody who crosses the line and nukes or, or, or even just... Don't even fucking threaten us with missiles, dude, or rockets. Don't even threaten us with rockets or incendiary or improvised munitions or devices. It doesn't matter. If you fucking threaten our allies, dude, we will fucking murder you. Okay? Do you understand? 
We'll give you nanites. We'll give you some shit, man, that doesn't show up for fucking years or days or months or fucking weeks. You talk all that shit, man. You fucking claim you're going to do something to my fucking country. You fucking piece of shit. You lowlife son of a bitch. Yeah, what? If somebody attacks you, you're going to do what? You're going to do nothing but fucking die. <laughs>